In this video, we're going to show you how to add signer three, four, five, or as many as you need to any of your signed documents inside of DocuSign. So the way I did this is I first came into Command and my Opportunities, went to my Documents tab, and I opened a room inside of DocuSign. So go to Transaction will take me to my DocuSign room right here. Now, the way this works is the same it works in any other system. You need to have signer one and two. So in this case, seller one and seller two have already signed this contract and I have signed it as well for a listing agreement. If I need to get the third, fourth, and fifth parties to also sign because it's a trust or something else, you need to have that done first. So I've already done that, which is why I have a signed copy of everything together. I can even preview it here and see that this is all typed in and I've got my three signature boxes. So I want to add seller three, four, and five. So I'm going to select the one that says signed, and we're going to come here to DocuSign to add any additional signers. This is a little different than the normal process, so follow the normal process first. Check out our other videos on how to do that. So I'm going to say please DocuSign 123 Main Street for this test. I've already got my form, and I'm going to add my recipients. Now, this is a little different. Normally, you would use that pre-tagged roles. That's only when you have a template that has a tagged role. This is me adding people that aren't here yet. So I'm actually going to come and say email address because I haven't added the second or third or fourth or fifth seller yet. So we're going to say email address, and I'm going to call this one test McTester. You would use a real email and name, and I'm going to give it an email address that I have access to. So I'm actually going to have it be my email address. I can also add another person. So let's say it was um, Matthew McTester, right? It's adding whatever you need and as many people as you want. So you're going to add them manually. So I'll go ahead and say, just for this example, it would not be the same email. Just showing you for an example purposes. So you can change it here if you need to sign and anything else. Need to sign is perfect. So I've got my contract, I've named my envelope, and I've added two people that now I want to have signed and add them to the contract. You would do your email message, 123 Main Street, please DocuSign. Okay, I'm going to click Next, and that takes me to the DocuSign Add Signature Boxes. This is how it's going to work. So I already have one and two added for sellers. Now I'm adding sellers three and four. Hopefully you've already typed in all that information into the details, which I've already, I've already had all my multiple sellers up top. Since I hadn't done that yet, I actually can easily add it by just adding a name box here. So I'll add a name for Mc, Matthew McTester there, and I'll add a name field for them here. And now I'm going to add their initials for the additional sellers. So I will go ahead and choose Matthew to start, and I'm going to add an initial and place it right here next to it. Now I can shrink this down so I can fit more. So I will place that one here. In the event you need to change anything on it on the right, you can come in here to do that. If it's not required, you can uncheck this to make it an optional kind of thing. So I'm gonna leave that initial there for Matthew and we're gonna do one for my test as well. So I'm gonna say initial box here. Notice they're the same size. Now this is where it gets cool. I'm gonna highlight them both. And we're gonna say Control or Command, if you're on the Mac, C for copy. And when I go to the next page, guess what? Just paste it and it goes right in the same box. Come to the next one to see, make sure I didn't miss any initial boxes I did. So I'm gonna paste a second pair. And I'm gonna move that pair of them up to where this initial box is. So it's next to that one. Okay, I don't need anything else there. Again, I just want to highlight these bottom two and add them. So copy, paste them there, and paste my ones there. Now I'm going to come back up. I notice there's another set here. So I'm going to add the initial boxes again, and I will move them into an area over here. So that way it's there, and if I need to, I can even add a text box that says seller. So I'll add the text box, seller, it's not required, read only so no one tries to change it, and I'm going to leave it right there for the seller. So now I've added the initial boxes for everybody I need to, 
I do need signature boxes here for seller signatures, so I'm going to add those as well. I've already got Mickey and Minnie, so now I'm going to add for the, my additional sellers a signature box here. And I'm going to add a date signed field next to it so that it automatically does that. That's for Test McTester, and here's the one for Matthew, signature, and date signed. And if I want to see, do I have everything I need? Okay, here's everyone's initials on every page. Now I can even preview it to make sure it's got everything in place. So this is what Matthew is going to see here. And when I click on start, it's going to take me to those first few boxes. Just to kind of test this out and see, are they going to be initialing in all the places that they need to? Sign and initial. So that's just a preview of it. I can also switch this over to see what test McTester is going to do. And it will show me a preview of their version of it. So start, here's the preview of that initial boxes. Everything looks good. Looks like I have everything where I needed to. Perfect, so if you're all ready with this, then you would just click send. So I'm gonna hit send here, which will go to me. These are my two test McTesters. I'm gonna review that one. And now I'm going to sign on their behalf. Obviously they would sign. Notice it added test McTesters box right there because I chose that name field. We're going to start, go here, we're going to choose our signature, adopt and sign, there, initial here, here, and there. Okay, so that's one of them. Finish, and they can create their own account if they haven't already. So that was that one, and I've got a second one here. Remember, this is only for testing. For legal purposes, do not sign for your client and do not have them sign for each other, have them go to their own email address to do this. All right, so I'm saying start, this time it's Matthew. Initial box here, here's Matthew's signature. I'm gonna initial all the same boxes there. Okay. And I'm finished. So what this means is now when I come back to command, and refresh my window, that envelope is all done. And now you will have an executed contract with all the multiple parties signed. So when I come back to documents now and refresh, takes a minute for it to come in. Here we go, now I've got my second one signed signed. This will now have all those parties signed that needed to. So this has added those people to my seller list and this has added all of the signature boxes. So now I have all my initials, my signatures, everything that needs to be on this form is now here. There are my signatures and that's how you add seller one, two, three, and four and multiple sellers. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a like. Leave me a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And as always, follow me on KB Connect or YouTube today.